Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Tracy here, just me and the pups. It is um, uh, November 21st, 2017. It is Tuesday evening. It is 6.45 p.m. And it's been very rainy today. And uh, thunderstorms, it is 60 degrees. Real feel, or it's 64 degrees. Real feel is 60. The high was 64 degrees. And the low will be 55. So, but it did break enough that they finally able to get the dogs out about 4 o'clock. Just real fast, out, do your business, come back in. Um, and uh, as you can tell, my hair is kind of kind of freezy and stuff today because of the humidity. Um, nothing more really happened last night. We made tacos, and then um, we... Uh, um, we made tacos and then uh, just kind of settled down. I worked on some 5D and I worked on this hat. This hat taking longer to, than the normal it seems, but it really isn't. But that's what I'm working on. Another hat for donation. And today I did the normal. Got up with Brad, made him breakfast, and then made him lunch. Got him off the door. Went back to sleep for a couple hours. Mm. Mm -hmm. So good. And then uh, did my normal housework to vacuum me and all that. Changed the, my bedding and changed the blanket out here on the couch. Um, little Missy Mama threw up on the, the couch and so... I always keep a sheet or a blanket, and that works out well. Just able to change it. She's fine now. And, um, she did so majorly, you know. Sometimes she eats a little fast, and then she gets a little bit of a tummy, tummy issue, right, Mama? And, um, I've been visiting with Linda on the phone, and then I visited with Andy on the phone, and that's been about all I've done today. Yep. Tonight dinner will be macaroni and cheese with tuna fish and peas. And um, so nothing real exciting, but, you know, I doctor up that macaroni. It's just box macaroni and cheese, but I doctor it up enough that it turns out pretty good. So that's what I'm making. It'll be something that'll be easy to reheat because Brad's got a few errands. He's got to run after work. He then go pick up a prescription for me, and then he needs to get gas. And I asked him to stop at Dollar General and get a couple more uh, cans of bug spray and stuff. So, we'll see. Um, what else can I tell you guys? That's about it. Nothing real exciting, you know. Nothing real exciting. That's about all that's going on today. Um... Uh, I want to, I'm thinking about making some ornaments. Okay, let me tell you guys this whole story, okay? Well, Brad and I were talking about the holidays. And I know a lot of you guys are like us. You no longer have children at home. And maybe your grandchildren even are bigger and stuff. So, and maybe you don't live near your family any longer. So, it kind of. The old familiar isn't, is no longer. So what are you going to do? Are you going to sit there and just hate the holidays and bemoan them? I still love Christmas, whether or not I have kids or not. Brad still loves Christmas, so we decided we were talking about it. And he's like, I'd like us to get an artificial tree this year. And I said, well, I'm thinking about putting an artificial tree out in our screened canopy. We have enough room and stuff. That would be neat out there. You know, and um, uh, he said, yeah, I think that'd be good. So we were looking when we were at Walmart last, just looking. You know, when you we want a pre-lit tree. We just like those, not half mess with putting the lights on. And so we're looking, and, you know, they're starting out at about 150 or so. And we're like, whoa, we found a nice little four-foot black one. 
this pre-lit. I like that black one. Mm -hmm. So does he. And that's like pretty much his favorite color anyway, black. So I think we're going to do like aqua blues and purple and silver on the tree. And instead of the normal tree, and the normal um, uh, tree, the star, the top of the tree, star and angel, I have a bendable Jack Skeleton doll. I'm going to put him up there. So, I really want to make a few ornaments, though. You know, because you get tired of doing the same old crafts. And it's like, you know, I really want to start, and I haven't messed around looking here too much yet, but I really want to make some ornaments. And I know you can make some Jack Skellington ones that are, um, you know, pretty easy to make. Um, let me try to turn down the thing here. Um, that are pretty easy to make. Um, uh, with um, just some white bulbs or some uh, off-white pearlized. Christmas bulbs. I have to look. I really, if I can get away with it, don't want glass bulbs. They always break on me and stuff. Don't want to spend a lot of money either. But I'd like to make a few kind of non-traditional, because this will be a non-traditional tree. Linda piped off with, well, what are you going to do? Put some of your skeletons on the tree? She was being serious. I'm like, you know, that would be a good idea because I have some Little skeletons about this high that I bought in Dollar Tree that I never used. I could put those on there, you know. Um, and, you know, I've got a few other things that I can put on the tree. I also want to make the tree skirt. After we get the tree and we, we get what ornaments we're going to get, and then I think I'm going to get some ornaments from Dollar Tree also. Because they have some inexpensive, nice ones, you know. I'm going to make a tree skirt, and um, that'll be fun. I have my sewing machine now here and stuff. I can make a nice tree skirt. I, you know, that'll be awesome. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'll make a nice tree skirt and stuff, and, you know, it'll be fun. So, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do this year. And um, I'm getting excited because I do like the holidays. I don't like all the commercialism or anything, but I like the twinkly lights and stuff. So, you know, do holidays however you want to do, whether you want to just kind of ignore the holidays or maybe you're by yourself or maybe you're just with your spouse, you know, or, or whatever. Just do your holidays however you want to do. There's no right, there's no wrong way. You don't have to do the follow la 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 caroling thing unless it's really your thing. You don't have to do the cookie making thing unless it's your thing. That's my thing. I like to make the Christmas cookies, but we don't have an oven yet. You know, we're not in a place of our own, so I won't do that this year. I might make some, some um, like banana breads and stuff. And I'm not sure. But anyway, do it however you want to do it. So. You know, like I said, we're just having a stuffed chicken for Thanksgiving, which will be perfect for us. And, you know, it doesn't make a difference if it's turkey or chicken. And, you know, Brad works till 3 and then he'll come home and we'll, we'll have, you know, the chicken and stuffing and potatoes and the vegetables. And then he did insist on buying it's a triple coconut cream pie. I was going to say we should get, you know, pumpkin or something, but he knows I love coconut cream. He goes, when's the last time we've had one? I'm like, I don't, can't remember. So, you know, it's all good. It's all good. But yeah, I'm wanting to make some ornament, you know, because like that, okay, every Christmas, I'm with the cookie lady, okay? I started making cookies back in October, and that's what we gave out to, to all of our friends and family, you know, trays and trays and trays of cookies. But, Times change, so I'd like to make a few ornaments. So that's what I'm going to kind of look for, too, uh, you know. So anyway, that's what's going on with us. Um, all good. All good. Oh, Andy, I don't know if I just told you or not. I'm starting to lose my mind. Because, yeah, I did this video once, and then I had to stop it. But 
City Rescue Mission. Uh, they're in Oklahoma. Just sent me the nicest letter and picture. So I just wanted to let you know that. It all makes a difference. This, let me, everybody, if you want to send hats, send them to Linda. If you contact me or contact her, she will give you the address uh, for this month. Um, and, um, or, you know, if you think it's too late, just let me know. And I'll just, if you have hats and it's too late, I'll just have you send them here. No big deal. You know, it, it's all good. Or if you just say, hey, it's to my father, I always send the hat to you. You can do that too. You can just send them to me. Um, you know, we're still taking yarn uh, donations for yarn. Always love that. I know um, that, you know, it all helps out so much. Um, I know Linda's getting some yarn donated to her by one of our good friends named Pam, which I'm so thrilled for. Thank you, Pam. That really will help her out so much and stuff helps it both out, um, you know. And um, also, my Etsy shop is the same name as, as here. The link is always below. I do still have stuff going on in, in there. I have all kinds of paintings and stuff going on. Uh, so take a look in there if there's anything you're interested in. You know, I take PayPal and I take direct checkout. I don't take checks and I don't take money orders. And, you know, you you risk it if you want to send cash. So, you know, that's all there is going on there. So I don't want to say hi to all my new subscribers. And if you've subscribed to me and I haven't subscribed back yet, Please let me know, because I might have missed you, and I will be happy to subscribe back. And yes, my hair is wacky doodle today, because number one, I just went down and took a shower last night, and then it's been raining, so it is, mm, don't look at my hair. Anyway, love you guys. And I cherish your friendship so much, and I think you guys are awesome, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.